Hello, in this video, I will talk about tubercle cyclogenesis, what it is and how it works. In meteorology, the word cyclone means an area of low pressure. Therefore, tropical cyclones can be considered as tropical lows. If your tropical low is strong enough, it is called a tropical storm. And if it is very strong, it is called a hurricane. These storms have varying names depend on where on earth you live. For example, in the Indian Ocean, they are known as cyclones. In the Pacific, they are known as typhoons. And in the Atlantic, they are known as hurricanes. But nonetheless, the universal name for these storms is tropical cyclone. Most tropical cyclones originate from the Intertropical Convergence Zone, ITCZ, which is an area of strong surface convergence. Since the Earth tilts, the location of the ITCZ varies from time to time during the year, but the ITCZ is generally located near the equator. Since the pressure at the equator is lower than its surroundings, air from both the southern and northern hemisphere converges into it. The converging air then rises, condenses, and forms very strong thunderstorms. So the ITCC is generally a belt of thunderstorm activity near the equator. In the tropical Atlantic, the ITCC has a tendency to strengthen African easterly waves, which are the tropical waves that come off the African coast. Tropical cyclones usually form between latitudes 10 and 30. Um, above latitude 30, the sea surface temperatures are usually too cold for tropical cyclones to form. And below latitude 10, the Coriolis effect is usually too weak to get the storm to start spinning. Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.